Every music producer should think of KISS while they make music. End of story, case closed. Wait, like KISS the rock band? Well, kind of. Let me explain. In music production, there are about a trillion different knobs and ways to make sound. You could spend a lifetime sorting through every preset in a DAW, but you probably shouldn't. But what does that have to do with KISS? I'm, I'm getting to that. With all of these music options available, it's easy to get overwhelmed. But if you listen to any of your favorite songs, they're all pretty simple. What I'm saying is that 64 tracks of background vocals isn't gonna fix your already bad songs. Adding in 10 synths won't make your song cool, it'll make it hard to listen to. And that's why every producer needs to remember Kiss. I'm still lost here. Or uh, I mean Kiss. Although they're a great band and a great way to remember this concept, they're not exactly what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the acronym KISS, which stands for Keep It Simple Stupid. Ah, uh, ha, ha, that makes sense. But Gene Simmons is a great mascot for this, isn't he? Mm, ah. Let me explain the concept more and the reason why it's so important. Then, after you understand, I'll show you what I mean in the context of a real track. Keep It Simple Stupid is essential in music production. People overcomplicate the process of making music itself by adding in way too many ideas to a track. Yes, it's cool that you found a fifth synth preset that works well with the soundscape, but do you really need it? Well, let's ask KISS themselves. KISS, do you really need that fifth synth line and sound? No, you idiot. Keep it simple. But what about adding another rhythm guitar part? No, thou shalt keep it simple. But what about adding a crazy moving bass line? No, simple is the way. See, I'm telling you, stop overcomplicating your track. Focus on the melody, the chord, the rhythmic sections. Don't fall down the add more instruments cliff to fill out the sound. Every part should hold its purpose. Now, I'm not saying that you shouldn't add a lot of tracks. Many times, tracks that play the same part but layer it can add depth and interest. But I am saying to err on the side of simplicity. The human brain can only process around three melodic ideas at once. Anything more is confusing. It's like juggling. Three balls? Okay. Five balls? Way too many. If you don't believe me, go listen to your favorite tracks and come back. I also made a full video about the rule of three right up here. Now, all that theory is great, but how does this work on a real track? Let me show you how I used KISS on one of my latest commissions so you can start using it too. Okay, I'm at my mixing desk and I'm gonna show you that demo I've been working on. And remember, KISS. I'll play it from the pre-chorus intro to the chorus and I'll play the first part of the chorus so you can feel it. Darling, it's still This part is pleasing to me. I'll be alright if you'll be okay. We can make love whenever you say. And I can turn this to something we like. If you came today and stayed here tonight. Notice, there's not a ton of instruments going on, but each one has its own space and its own part. The ones that have multiple instruments are all playing the same exact part, sometimes just panned left and right. Check this out for the rhythm guitar. Right, nothing too complicated there. Then we have this part here, which is a little stab along with this piano. We have some more guitars playing the same part. And then we have one bass, and then we have a drum kit. It's all coming together to keep things simple. And that's the whole point. If I add too many parts to this song, it suddenly becomes overwhelming, especially when I add the vocals. Anytime you add the vocals, they should be the center point. I don't have to overcomplicate the rest of the backing track. I'm just trying to keep it simple so I can accentuate the idea that I had for the lyrics, get the point across, and just get you the general feeling of the song. Also, in the same vein of keeping it simple, stupid, check out my processing. There's not a ton going on here. I have a guitar simulation. I have some slight compression, some slight distortion. If you notice my plugin chains, none of them are ever that long. Look at my vocal chain. It just got four plugins on it and then four reverb and delay buses. This kiss deserves a kiss. Getting a professional sound doesn't have to be complicated. A lot of the end sound is going to come from the original recordings, the original songwriting, and arrangement is going to give you more of a feeling. And if you can keep the rest of the production process simple, everything else is going to fall into place. You might be asking yourself why Gene Simmons sounds like a Greek god. And the answer is, well, I 
Don't really know. But in all seriousness, keeping it simple is a great trick for songwriting, music production, and just music in general. We don't need to reinvent the wheel here, people. And oftentimes, the most profound new ways of doing things are the simplest. Use what works. Focus on the simple, and your tracks will unfold like an origami towel on a cruise ship. And if you ever find yourself wondering what you actually should add to your song, think of Gene Simmons and keep it simple, stupid.